HDP0.5 activation. This will protect all the secure application or the secure mode. That means you can only connect with the debugger when your core is in non-secure. That means it executed a non-secure application. So what should you ensure before going in HDP0.5? To have a non-secure application that is executed. That means you need to have a secure application that launch a non-secure application. And in that way, the cortex will be in a non-secure mode and then you will be able to connect. So please double check with Terraterm, press the reset button of your target and check the traces to ensure that you've got a non-secure application that's running before continuing. On that's done, we will activate the RGP. It's just one option byte and you've got the step eight batch to do it. And then we will see how we can configure in KubeID the connection to debug the non-secure application. So first, I will press my reset button. Everything is fine. We can see that I've got a non-secure application running. So I activate HDP 0.5. It has reset. And if I press the reset button, nothing has changed. It's still working. So now we switch to KubeID. I select the TFM appli non-secure and I will create a debug configuration for it. So debug as stm 32 cortex m c c++ application. You can disable the auto build. It prevents trying to rebuild each time you want to debug. So we will save time to do this. It's not in the slide, but it's a tips. For the debugger tabs, we have to change the reset behavior because by default, the debugger connect under reset. That means it drive a reset and then connect. But if it resets, by default, the Cortex M33 with stress zone enable we put in a secure mode. So you won't be able to connect. So we have to remove this parameter and set it to noun. That means we do some kind of auto attach. We don't do any reset, we just connect while the non-secure application is executing. In the startup tab, we have to remove the download and just load the symbol, okay? If I apply and do OK, so here it will directly launch the debugging perspective. Now the debugger is connected, nothing happened. We have to suspend to see where we are because we have not connected under reset, so we don't start at the main, okay? And you can see we are in the non-secure application. If I resume and if I press the reset button of my board, we have just stop at the beginning of the secure application, the non-secure application, sorry, and then we can debug it. Just a little things to show you. If I try to check the SBSFU memory again, you can see now it's not zero, but comma, okay, question mark. And in fact, it's because we've got an additional level of protection. SBSFU is protected by the height protect, which only shows some zero. And after we've got the AGP 0.5, which protected from accessing any resources from the secure world, okay? So just little tips. So if I come back to my presentation, so we experiment this together. Please terminate your debug session. And I forgot to do it. That's it. And it's OK. So where do what we have to do now is to remove the trust zone protection because, okay, we have finished our hands-on and now we want to do a cleanup of the board. So the first thing will be to do a RDP regression and we will do this by doing a trust zone regression also. That means we have to do a RDP regression to be able to do a trust zone regression. So we have a script to do this. It was a step nine. So we can say, okay, if we are doing this, after it was the full cleanup of the board. 
in fact, not, because there is some other parameter that we can't reset right now. It was a secure boo address, but we will see after. So first, let's remove the trust zone and the RDP, the RDP uh, protection. So if I load the step nine, here we do a RDP regression and at the same time, we remove the trust zone. And it was the only way to remove trust zone. So now we have finished this hands on. So we have learned how to compile and debug the TFM. We have seen how to activate and to use the HDP in the TFM context. And also we experiment how to debug a non-secure application with HDP 0.5.